I started this week off by asking people in my studio club what they particularly loved about autumn. And the answer was really everything. I love everything about autumn. I love the colours and the garden and the late kind of flowers that you get um, just when you get a little bit of a warm thing in autumn. Um, in the garden here at the moment we've got lots of geraniums that are flowering still and the leaves and the structure coming back but in amongst a whole load of chaotic mess and the colours and the colours and the colours and I think this is my favourite time of the year really. Um, there's something about being on the cusp of something so you can still go outside. I mean it's beautiful, beautiful outside but by four o'clock it's kind of getting dark and in fact today it's very dark anyway. Um, so come with me to the studio. I think the thing that I like best about this time of year um, is that it's sort of suddenly time that you can craft a lot more. You can be inside because there's not much light, um, there's not so much many things that you can do outside, so it's time for cozying up and getting all of those winter woolies out of storage and layering them up. And that is what I'm wanting to talk to you about today. If you haven't been here before, my name's Jane and I live right in the middle of Scotland and I'm a textile artist and somebody who just loves making things. So every Friday I come on here and I might talk about the natural world or history, living a little bit differently um, or about doing things creatively. And today I'm going to talk about doing things creatively because I have been sorting out my wardrobe and I came across this cardigan. Now, this is a very plain and simple cardigan. It's cashmere. I bought it second hand and it's just, oh, it's lovely and soft and warm. And I know that I will wear it a lot. I love the colour, so I'm not going to do anything to the colour, but it's just a little bit boring for me. So what I thought I would do to start with, see how it goes, is to change these buttons because these buttons are, you know, they're perfectly nice, but they're nothing special. So I'm going to change the buttons on this cardigan and then we'll see what it looks like. Buttons are something that, um, I just love and I particularly love mixes of buttons. One of my earliest memories was of a lady called Auntie Patty who lived next door to my parents. She wasn't an aunt, she was like a courtesy aunt. And I would go around there um, on my own. So my mum must have been going somewhere, maybe, I think I must have been about three or four. So that would be when she was pregnant uh, with my brother. So maybe she was going to um, antenatal clinics or something to do with him but I would go and next door and spend time with Auntie Patty and Auntie Patty would entertain me by giving me a tray and a big tin of old buttons. There, obviously there wasn't any 
worry about toddlers choking on buttons at that point. Um, and I would sort them out and I might sort them in, we might sort them into colours or shapes or numbers. Um, and that would keep me entertained the whole time. And since then, although I have long since lost touch with Auntie Patty, um, button tins have held a special place in my heart. So this is my button tin. Um, you can see it's largely shell buttons, but other things I have um, cut. And then I also have this envelope of more shell buttons. And when I was telling my mum that I needed some buttons, my mum is, you might call her a bit of a craft hoarder, but she's trying to um, sort out all of her craft room at the moment. So I said to my mum, I'm looking for some buttons to put on a kind of a, a conquer coloured cardigan. And this is what she gave me. This is my mum's button box. So we have tin, plastic boxes, jars, more jars, another biscuit tin, the one that the lid has fallen off, um, jars, 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 jars. So she, she is, as you can see, she is a really good organiser. Um, but, um, there is a lot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep out a few of these. So, black ones. Crystal. Not sure. White ones. This is labelled button. Um, and it's kind of like a mix of yellow. So I'm going to keep out these brass ones. I'm going to keep out the greens. Blues can go back in. And let's see what this one is. Well, that's black. I might keep them out. I might be useful. Don't want yellow. And they're grey. They might work. All of these back. These are now my buttons. Right. So, I very rarely wear cardigans buttoned up, but I do think that I should try and keep them so that they will work um, with the buttonholes. So I'm looking for things that are around about that size but I do not want them to all be the same. So it's not a case of we're looking for six buttons that are all the same. What I'm going to be looking for is something that I think will work really nicely on this. So these ones were the black and grey ones and they all, to me, look a little bit big. They look actually like coat buttons. And what I'm quite tempted by is all these greens. So I'm just going to pull them out onto the table so we can see what we have. Right, so here we have a great selection of buttons. And I'm particularly drawn to these green ones that are kind of like um, an opaque glass. They're made of glass. So I like those ones. There's some. There's some square ones. There we go. Can you see that? That are very similar. There's some more of the swirly ones. Yeah, 
into one that's completely different. More swirly ones. I rather like these as well. And these will have all been carefully saved over the years, um, just in case. And now my mum is feeling that just in case, she has too many things that are just in case. Which I think is something that happens as we get older, we begin to kind of almost panic about how many craft supplies we have. Oh goodness, look how many of these nice um, things I have. Well, that's rather lovely. This one, don't have many of them. And I think this is what is so fascinating about going through a button box. You are finding all of the things that you know have been cut off and saved but were originally um treasured by somebody you know and all of these buttons have been treasured enough to be kept and reused and because a cashmere cardigan isn't something that i would put in the wash even though it is officially machine washable, um, I can, in theory, use any of these. It's a rather nice, just plain, plain one. Right. So, I'm getting out all of the ones that are opaque. There's another little plain one. Um, and I will put the rest all back into this jar for another day. And in my head, I'm also thinking, you know, I have a waistcoat that I'm knitting, which is called the um, Odysse Vest, which you might remember um, from my uh, video that was about all of the things that I am knitting at the moment. Well, that's almost finished. And it is going to need um, a great big string of small buttons for that as well. So I am also thinking whether any of these, because there's quite a lot of them, like the little green square ones, I might just save them for my Odysse waistcoat. It's kind of um, based on a Victorian 19th century corset shape. So the, it has a pointed front and right the way down the front are these tiny buttons, or tiny buttonholes at the moment. I think that I shall possibly save these ones for that. Tidy up here and then get the cardigan out. Oh look, there's a, a bigger one of these. Must have been a matching set. just endless all the fun that you can have with buttons the first thing that I'm going to do is to sew um, the buttons to replace the ones that I have taken off so, so I'm going to take a large a long rather thread okay and then thread my needle, take my glasses off so I can actually see. It is so, so dark today. Look up and there's no light at all. So I have studio lights on here so that you can actually see me. That is my worst thing about this time of year. I just hate the darkness. I hate not being able to see that the light's on um, and particularly when you're working with naturally dyed fabrics as I am a lot of the time um, you can't see the differences in colour under artificial light as well as you can under natural light right 
So here we are. This is, as you can see from this wee tuft, I'm going to just get rid of. Uh, that is where my needle needs to be. Um, so I doubled over the thread so that I can make a very neat kind of knot. Right? This is very, very fine thread. This is um, a Gutterman viscose thread. So nice and strong, but also very, very fine. So I just looped my needle through the loop at the end of the thread, and that means that I can do it without a knot. So first of all, I'll make sure that the thread is nicely attached to the wool because the wool is, this cashmere wool is quite stretchy and I don't want it to like stretch out. So I'll just take a few back stitches then there. And then I think I'm going to start with one of these beautiful glass buttons with the uh, gold rim. Okay, and then because they have a little shank in them, so like, can you see, they've got uh, a bit that is raised from the button. It's just going to be a case of sewing it on. So go a few times through that loop. Maybe four times, that should be enough to keep it on. Because then I'll have eight threads holding it to the cardigan. One more. And then through the back. And then on the back again, I'm going to make like a little cross of stitches here. So that it kind of like just spreads the load if anything pulls on that button it's not going to make a hole um, a back stitch and then carefully thread the needle <coughs> up in between the button band so that it's it's just traveling up that channel and appearing up here and then I'll cut it off and that means that the long end will just disappear in there there we go one button so you can see if I wanted to wear it buttoned up, it is the perfect size and just lifts that cardigan a bit. Right, I'm going to now sew the rest of those ones on, the remaining five buttons on here, and then we'll have a look at what I want to do with the button band. Right, so there I have all of the buttons sewn on to replace the ones that I cut off. And you can see what it would look like if that was all that I wanted to do. And, you know, I think that's very nice, you know, just changing up those buttons makes it a look a lot less um, the same as everybody else's. But what I want to do now is to put more buttons down here, just attached to the buttonhole band and just make it a little bit kind of fancier, a little bit more unusual. 
So I'm going to sit here and do that and I will show you how I get on. Here I am sewing the last button on the top of the button band, uh, well, the button hole band actually, and let's clip it in here. And I'm delighted with how this has turned out actually. Um, and I think it's such an easy way to just brighten up something that was really quite a dull cardigan. Um, a lovely colour, but quite a dull looking cardigan. And also a way to stitch in some of these memories from the button box. Because some of these buttons I do remember being on outfits of my mum's. These ones here, the swirly glass beads. I remember her having a dress that she had made and it had like little loop buttonholes that would have been well, maybe in the 1970s, late 1970s. She used these glass buttons as the buttons that went all the way down. Now, as there's a lot of them, I think that she probably used them from somebody else's button box. So here we are. This is what the cardigan button band looks like now. You can see, hopefully, that it is much, much brighter and quirkier and it kind of just gives it a little bit of a pop and the green there of the buttons is not far off the green from this dress that I wear all the time. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing that and that it's given you some inspiration about how you can just go to your button box if you have one um, ask around if you don't because there's always people wanting to pass on beautiful buttons and how you can spruce up something that is quite a dull piece of clothing. So I'm going to tidy up here, um, pack up all of my buttons again and I will see you next Friday uh, for another film. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, let me know in the comments about any button boxes you have known through your life and whether it's um, something that you treasure as much as I do. Uh, Till next week. Bye bye.